Do you want to know how to find items sold by Amazon? Well, in this video today, I'm going to share with you how to find items sold by Amazon by manually searching on Amazon and also using tools in my live screen shares. Stay tuned. Right, if you're new to the channel, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for the last five years. And I'm a seven figure Amazon seller in the UK and also in the USA. Now in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you an intro on how to find items sold by Amazon. Number two, I'm gonna talk about why it's important to know how to find items sold by Amazon. Number three, I'm gonna talk about how to find items sold by Amazon through Amazon and actually doing that manually through a live screen share. And then number four, I'm actually gonna show you how to find items sold by Amazon by using tools, and again, using another live screen share. So let's get started. Now, first things first, what does sold by Amazon mean? Basically, when a product is listed as being sold by Amazon, it means that the Amazon itself is the seller of that item and not a third party seller like me. This means Amazon is responsible for the product listing, shipping, customer service for that item. And obviously they are the original owner of that item as well, the one that's selling it to you. So if you see chips from and sold by amazon.com or .co.uk or the marketplace you're on, on the product page, it means that Amazon is the direct seller of that product that you're seeing there. Now, this leads me nice to my second chapter, why is it important to know about items sold by Amazon? Now, basically, if you are thinking about selling on Amazon as a third party seller, it's important to know which items are being sold by Amazon. Why? Number one, competition. Knowing which items are sold by Amazon can help third party sellers avoid competing directly with Amazon, which can be difficult due to Amazon's size and resources. Now, by avoiding competition or competing with Amazon, a third party sellers can focus on selling items at Amazon and is not selling on and also more chance to make more profit. Now the second one is pricing. Amazon can adjust its prices and frequently does and they have the ability to sell prices and frequently do much lower than what third party sellers sell at. Now with that being said, knowing which items are sold by Amazon can help third party sellers sell only the products whereby they are not competing directly with Amazon and probably not likely to have their profits undercut and obviously still remain profitable. Now, quick question for you guys. I am asking today about selling, understanding which products Amazon is selling on. Now, I wanna know, are you already started selling on Amazon? If so, drop me a yes down below, or maybe if you're thinking about getting started, drop me a no, and obviously maybe I can recommend some advice. Or if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below, and I can help you out. Now, this leads me nicely to talk about how to find items sold by Amazon through Amazon's website itself. Now, what I wanna do now is jump onto my computer, and I'm gonna show you how to actually find the item which Amazon are selling themselves by using Amazon's own website. And this is a really quick, easy way to do it. So let me jump on the computer and I'll show you how to do this now. Okay, so I've just jumped into Amazon's website and what we wanna do first of all is just type in. So what I'm gonna search for is really gonna be simply, let's just go into running shoes. I'm gonna search for any category, doesn't really matter. Now, it's Amazon are gonna come up with a, lost, a, a list of their products that you can sell. Now, the one thing which I'm gonna really be looking at is coming into the department on the left-hand side here, and I'm gonna choose one of the sub-categories or sub-departments. Let's just do men's road running shoes. So we'll do that there. And what I'm gonna do is load into that subcategory that I'm looking at. And what I can do now is use this left-hand search bar is to scroll down the side, and I can look at, should we say, look at the seller. If we kind of come down, what I can now see is got the seller option here, I'm going to be looking for that Amazon.com. Obviously, we're looking for the Amazon marketplace that we're selling on. Now, once I click on that, what it's going to do is just load up all the results in that, should you say, department or that category, whereby Amazon.com is a seller. So now I can see these are all the products that Amazon is selling on their marketplace, which is going to really help us out understanding. Now, I can also confirm that Amazon is the product seller by, should we say, I'll do go into one of them and I'm gonna actually load into the listing itself right now. So let's load this up. Now, once I come into here, I have to choose the size. So let me just check the size, for example, size seven. Now, once that's loaded up, what you can see is on this right-hand side, you've got the buy information. This is really around the buy box. So this box here is called the buy box. And you can see here, you've got the buy now button, which is great because that's where we can buy it. And we're looking here, ships from amazon.com. Really what we're after is sold by. Who's the actual seller of this product? You can see amazon.com is that seller. And when I see Amazon's name there, amazon.com, it means that Amazon is gonna be the seller of this product. And that means that Amazon are selling this product. So that's the way to really understand. You can sort them, find them by doing the searching and then go into the listing. And you can definitely prove it 
basically being sold by Amazon.com. Okay, so today I'm talking about how to find products that are sold by Amazon. Now, why is this important? Because obviously finding out what products are sold by Amazon, you can obviously then find the products you don't actually want to be competing against because Amazon is probably going to be able to get the products cheaper than you are. And obviously you can then find the products whereby Amazon are not selling and obviously find more profit. Now, I'm sure you'll probably look at this because you're thinking about selling on Amazon or maybe haven't even started yet. But one thing I'd say is getting the right knowledge that's going to really support you in growing your Amazon business is key and getting it early on can really help you out. I've been selling now on Amazon for over five years and run two seven-figure Amazon businesses, both in the UK and in the USA. And what have I done? I put together a really simple seven-day free course that's designed to help people get started with knowing the real basics that they need to understand, to take them from knowing nothing, getting that first sale. Now, if you're interested in learning and want to take my free course, have a look at the link down below, the Fast Track FBA Express course is going to help you in your Amazon learning and then obviously growing your Amazon business as well. Check it out today. Now, this leads me nicely onto my fourth chapter, how to find items that are sold by Amazon using tools. Now, if you want to make it easier for you to know which items are sold by Amazon, then you can use different Amazon tools, which are going to support you in doing this quicker. And I'm going to share with you in this chapter Chapter, how to do that. So let's go through the tools now. First things first, number one is going to be DS Amazon Quick View. Now, basically, DS Amazon Quick View gives you an overview of each of the product's data on the search page and whether it's who it's sold by, it could be Amazon or third party, number of sellers on the listing, and much, much more information about it. And it just makes sourcing, finding products so much quicker, and it's going to show you that information pretty much instantly. DS Amazon Quick View is a free tool, which I absolutely love, and it's a Chrome extension, which you can download, which is going to be really helpful as well. So what I'll do is I'll jump on the screen share now and quickly show you this tool that's going to help you out. So let's jump on the computer now. Okay, so this is the DS Amazon Quick View Chrome extension, and I'll drop a link down below. You can download this for free and obviously add it to your Chrome. And I do really like this, it's used by a lot of people. And what it does is it adds this, as she say, under the search sections whenever you're doing a search, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. It'll show you some extra data, but you can download this and it's a really useful tool and it's free and I do really like it. Now, if we go back over to the search results here, what I've done is I've just, she say, reloaded it, but this time with the DS Amazon Quick View to the Chrome extension included. And again, we've got the same search results you can see here, but what we've also added is down the bottom here, this gray box has now been added in by the Chrome extension. And what it does is it shows you, should we say, what the rank is, which helps you understand sales velocity, it shows you who the sellers are, so you can see sold by Amazon, and then one also FBA seller, so there's another seller, it will give you the count, so this one's got one, this one's got seven plus. Um, and then also it will show you the ASIN, and then you can kind of hover over, so day extra information that's an upgrade that you've got to pay for but really for me i'm really interested in the sales rank also as well whether amazon's on the listing that's sold by amazon in the orange and then also the number of fba sellers that's going to really help me out when i'm doing my sourcing looking for products that are sold or not sold by amazon now the second tool i'm going to recommend for you to think about is keeper Keeper is a Chrome extension, again, that provides a graph which shows the historical data of a product, i.e., you know, what's happened to Amazon's price over the last, the time that the item's been around. Now, what I really like about Keeper is that aside from knowing, should you say, what the price has been via Amazon, it also helps you understand the lowest price that Amazon's ever been. This is important because you can understand this is going to help you know whether, if you can sell at that lowest price historically, and that's going to help you understand whether you want to compete against Amazon or not. So what I want to do now is jump over to, should you say, the listing now and I'm going to show you to say Keeper in action and also show you how that works. Okay, so this is the Keeper Chrome extension and you again, we'll drop a link down below. So you can download this, like pretty much everyone who sells on Amazon does reselling will be using this product um, because it's really, really useful. So you can get the Chrome extension here. They have a free version, which is okay. It does show you the Amazon price, but I would really recommend paying for it. It's about 15, 16 euros a, a month. So let's jump over onto the listing and actually look at what it looks like. So here we are into again, one of the shoes and again, Amazon selling this product this kind of like orange section so you can see here i'm just kind of hovering now it kind of automatically highlights like if i hover over this buy box you'll see it highlights the, the pink line if i do the green one it will highlight the green line so i'm really just looking at this orange section now this orange section on the keeper chart um, what does that show me it shows me what keepers price or should you say it shows me what the price of amazon was versus the left hand axis so you can see it goes 80 70 60 50 40 30. i can see how the amazon price has changed over time and if you're like me, you're like, wow, that price has actually changed quite a lot over time. And what I can see is, is how that price has been over time and whether today's price is a realistic price for Amazon or has it been a lot lower. Now, if I come down here, what you will notice is I'm set at three months. So I can actually scroll out to all year and I can hover back over that Amazon price. And I can see that probably saying right now, if I have a look over here, 
you can see Amazon is saying $36.97. That's probably one of the lowest prices it's been ever on Amazon. But I can also see like how that price has changed over time. So Keeper is really useful for seeing not only when Amazon is on the listing, you know, by having a look at the, the orange line, but also as well what that price has been when Amazon has been on the listing, which is really, really helpful. Now, the third tool which I'm going to talk about for you and to share is a tool called Seller Amp or SaaS. Now, SaaS helps you understand the competition and supports you in analyzing, should we say, profit, ROI, eligibility to sell, and so, so much more. Now, what I really like about this tool is not only does it show you if an item is sold by Amazon, but it also shows you the profitability of product based upon your buy price. So what I will do now is I'm going to jump on the computer and I'm going to show you Seller Amp or SaaS, and I'm going to show you how that works. And obviously, you can see that Chrome extension as well. Again, this is going to be a paid one. So here we are with Seller Amp, and again, you can drop a link down below and, and get access to this. So Seller Amp or SaaS is a really good tool, which we use to help do profit analysis calculations. It just speeds up that. And again, it's going to help you understand if Amazon the listing, obviously it just makes it a bit easier. Um, but we'd like to use this for our profit analyst or analytics. So this is the Seller Amp tool. Let's jump back onto that listing and show you what it looks like now. So here we are back onto that listing that we talked about earlier. And what you can see is it's just loaded up this panel on the left-hand side, and you can move the panel around for your kind of, should you say, your viewing preference. But it's gonna show you information about alerts, like whether you can sell the product or not. It'll give you an estimation number of sales per month. But the one thing I'm really interested in is really understanding profit and ROI. So let's say, for example, this product right now is selling for $36.97, you can see that. Let's say, for example, I can buy it for 15, 15 dollars. It's gonna show me that if I buy this product for $15 and sell it on Amazon right now, using the FBA program is going to show you I'm going to make a profit of $8.19 and an ROI of 54.6%, which is going to be fantastic. But also as well, when I look at this cost price that I put in there, it's also going to look at all the other sellers. So we've got like an Amazon seller and another FBA seller, and it's going to show me how much profit I'm going to generate if I were to sell it at their sale price. So you can see here against Amazon, I'm going to make $8.19. And then against Zappos or this FBA seller, I make $27.77 and the ROI. And I really like that as well. Also, it's going to show you how much stock they've got, which is a really good guide to help you understand how much stock that today's seller is holding in Amazon or in Amazon's warehouses. And that can help you know whether they're going to sell out quickly and maybe you might want to compete against them and try and get in and make some sales when they're sold out or if not. So it's going to help you out there. But really good tool, and obviously it's got lots of other functionality, but they're the key areas that I'm looking at when I'm doing my analysis versus Amazon. Now, what I will say is after understanding how to find items sold by Amazon, you might want to consider watching the video I created before called Amazon FBA Free Full Course, and I'll drop that around here. Now, hopefully you've liked the video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you want to share this with someone else who maybe needs to know, hit the share button, drop them a like. And if you want to see more videos from me, do make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.